All right, guys, so I opened up the practice, uh, the Pathfinder menu practice sheet. In this sheet, you can find the Pathfinder Pizza Company menu. You can also find some practice sheets. So let's just zoom into the Pathfinder Pizza Company menu and see what's there. In the Pathfinder Pizza Company menu, we have the different types of Pathfinder options. We also have the Pathfinder side dishes, which are the keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow, as well as some toppings. So one by one through the class, we're going to dive into each of these sections. The first sections that we're going to dive into is the toppings. So the first set of toppings we're going to go through is the square or the rectangle and the circle or the ellipse. So the keyboard shortcuts for those is M. If you hit M on your keyboard, you can drag out your mouse, click and drag to create a rectangle like that. And if you hit L on your keyboard, you can drag out an ellipse like that. All right, secondly, if you want to make a perfect square or a perfect circle, if I hit M and I drag it out and hold shift, I'll create a perfect square. If I hit L and drag and hold shift, I'll make a perfect circle. Another way to do that is if I click L and I hit Alt, it'll actually allow me to create the circle from the center out instead of the corner. So that makes it easier to work with. That's how you create a simple rectangle and a circle. So let's dive into the rectangle tool a little bit. So if we drag out a rectangle, let's Let's make just a random size rectangle here. Now, there are a few secrets of m building shapes with a rectangle tool. You, you can build more than just a rectangle with the rectangle tool. You can actually make pretty complicated shapes using the rectangle tool. How? It is because it has something called live corners. All right, so if we select our rectangle here, it has these little widgets on the corner points. And what that allows me to do, it allows me to drag them into the center and it rounds the corners of the shape. So that's pretty cool. So already we went from a straight rectangle to a little more complicated rectangle, a rounded rectangle. What else can we do with that? If we hit the A key on our, button, or on our keyboard, this is the direct selection tool up here. We can select just one of these points. So let's say I wanted this one to be straight and this corner to be straight. So now I have a even more complicated. I have round, point, round, point. So that's pretty good. So we can build on from there. What else can we do with these widgets? Now, to see all the options that you have control over, you can open up the transform menu. So if you go into your window, and you go down to transform and open that up, you can see that there are actually a little bit more options here. You can see that there's actually different types of corners you can apply to your corner points. So let's see what that does. So if I change this top left corner to a inverted round, you can see what it does. Now I have an inverted round shape on one of the corners. What else do we got there? We got the chamfer corner here we can apply it to just that one and we can drag it in and make it a little more complicated shape like that all right so we went from a simple rectangle to actually a quite complicated shape with different angles corners roundness but it was all thanks to the live corner function in adobe illustrator Actually, this used to be very difficult to create, but now it's actually very easy to create very complicated uh, shapes with just a simple rectangle. So those are the tools that we can use for building a rectangle. What about the circle? So if we have a circle, we can hold shift to constrain the proportions. And it also has a widget here. This widget here allows me to actually cut into the circle a certain degree so I can actually make a cut out of the pizza, a pizza slice with this circle. All right, and these are adjustable. So I can do that or that. What else can I do? If I look at here, I can actually invert the pie. So I can have it a certain degrees on one side and I can also transfer it and do the complete opposite on the other side. So what I can do now is if I wanted to copy this 
if I alt drag it, if I copy and paste, I can make a simple pie graph out of this circle. So this doesn't only work with the this straight circle, but also with an ellipse. So now you have more of a flat inversion or maybe a isometric view or a perspective view of the circle with that. So if I alt drag and I invert it, and you can see that I sort of have a pie graph going on there. So that's a pretty handy tool. What I want you to do for this first class is simply play around with the, the rectangle tool and the ellipse tool and figure out what you can build with it. Honestly, you can do a lot of stuff with even these two shapes. All right, so have some fun with that. Play around with the, the live shapes, the corners, and the, the pie function of the ellipse tool. And in our next class, we'll dive into our, our polygon tool and our star tool. So I'll see you in the next class.